I've got a dual role, obviously, uh, here with EDA, aerospace and aviation and defense are target industries for, for Bay County. So we, we've got this great economic engine out of the airport, and we've got a lot of other sites around Bay County that we believe could be aerospace-related uh, sites. So that's a target industry. But then I'm also chairman of the Aerospace Alliance, which was started about seven years ago. Uh, by four states, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida. And um, it, uh, when you combine the aerospace industry in those four states, you have the fourth largest aerospace corridor in the world. These shows are key to your strategy, and Governor Scott has been, uh, for the last couple of years, he's not going this year, Grace Wolf, who's Secretary of Commerce, is going. Uh, and if you have that level, either the governor or you have the Secretary of Commerce, that opens a lot of doors for their appointments, and they'll have a full schedule of meetings uh, uh, throughout the show. If you're looking at Airbus in particular, uh, Northwest Florida is close to the Airbus uh, plant in Mobile, so that, that's one thing. I think the other thing for some of us that are further east than, say, Escambia County and Santa Rosa County, uh, we offer more of a central location for suppliers who are supplying Boeing in South Carolina and Airbus in Alabama and Embraer in Florida and Gulfstream in Georgia. So we are really in a more central location to where we can focus on those suppliers who are working with, a, with several companies. The other thing that I think we, we have, we've got a strong workforce We've got a strong aerospace defense base already here. You've got several thousand who are leaving the military who have worked for a number of years in the military, have that training, have that discipline, that with some specific training with a company would make great employees with great team members. So we're able to promote that. We've got some wonderful aerospace uh, programs at our universities and our colleges across the region. And I think our incentives are um, comparable to most states, especially for a medium size. I think we can compete with most states, and that's not always been the case. But I think in the last several years, we've become, we become more competitive from an incentive standpoint. It's an exciting time. It's going to be a very, very good show. I think Northwest Florida will be well represented, and I think we'll, be, uh, we'll see some success over the next two to three years.